Come on a journey with me, Brie Lawrenson, where we talk about the stories behind the scenes in the music industry. Grab a drink or four. This is your front row ticket in to the distillery with me, Brie. We gave away a Yeti cooler in October, $1,000 in December. And because of the Patreon family, Brie Lawrenson Patreon family, we were able to donate $500 to the Children's Hospital here in Ottawa. Thank you to my Patreon family. Join the fun. Check it out. Brie Lawrenson on Patreon. We do giveaways all the time. And with 68 new members, we would love to keep growing. Check us out. Brie Lawrenson on Patreon. Welcome into the distillery. My name is Bria Lawrenson, <laughs> and I'm here with my co-host, Attic T. Hello. How Hello. are you? Hello. I'm doing the intros now. Well, we're, we're testing it out. See how it is. I like your intros. I, I'm not my, like... My, I don't go... Hum, blah, 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 like well, that was... Yeah, that was in the... Uh, <laughs> what is it? How, what did I say? It was... Um, <laughs> oh, you know, like the movie The Anchorman? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> The <laughs> what we need we need a Jamie. I know this is yeah. what I keep saying. This is what I keep saying. We got to get a Jamie on the payroll. <laughs> yeah, Damn it. that's Anyways. a reference to Joe Rogan's podcast. Yes, it um, is. So I've learned. And so you it is very smart. You took your uh, braids out. I did. I yeah. took. Well, I why? just felt why I like them. Well, I'd, not that they're not coming back. I just thought maybe I would give my hair a break. But and I also want to dye it dark violet. Oh, nice! Tonight, dark so, violet, like that's purple. Yes, but very dark. Yeah. So it, it's purple. It'll look like it's black mo- mostly. Yeah, but but it might have you a did, purpley you, you tint. You did that with with red once, and it was really yeah. like it was black, but it had like a tint of red. Yeah, am I coming in okay? Yeah, I can hear you good. <clears throat> okay, Maybe good. can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, we have um, video, you guys. Yeah, we are on. The, we are not live, which which I wanted to go live on TikTok this app this tonight, uh, but my phone charged. My phone is dying, so we're not going to do that. We are, however, filming um, video for all our Patreon members. Yeah, and we always upload the video unedited, so you get all of the bloopers the and all that. Because you guys pay for it, and I thank you so much for being part of my Patreon family. Um, yeah, and if you're interested in seeing, you know, the video, join us on Patreon. Um, it's like maybe what you would spend on half a, of a Netflix a subscription. Cup, a cup of coffee. <laughs> per a per large, month. A large double-double here in Canada. <laughs> but there are members who spend more. Yeah. And... Um, it's perks, it's different levels and stuff. Yes, Check it out. Yeah. and yeah, we're um, having fun. I wanted to. We were talking earlier about Beyonce's Texas Hold'em. Yeah, Texas Hold'em. Is it, is hold, it, is it Texas This ain't Texas. Yeah, ain't no hold'em. What, 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 do, what do you think? Oh, keep going. No, I, that's all I know. Oh, that's it. Okay, <laughs> do it again. Um, this ain't Texas. Ain't no hold'em. Is that, that's what yeah. you, like you know hold them texas what do you think of it like what do you think of I the think it's uh, good i yeah. like it um um beyonce kind of goes out of, in left field sometimes yeah like in a good way and i know that i mean i loved all of beyonce old school beyonce like uh destiny's child almost like all the way back yep yep <laughs> um, those were the days yeah and then that one song that she did hero or uh, Nickelback. Oh no no! It's the one. If I were a boy. Oh yeah. Was that Beyonce? I turn off my phone. Yes. What song is that? I'd kick it with who Shit. I wanted, and I. It was if it's if bird, I were a boy. Bird, bird. If I were a boy, that's what it was. That is a good song. <laughs> if I, I were a boy. <laughs> I turn off my phone. So what was that song she, about? Uh. Basically saying, like, the having the, the female side, like, how females act. Yeah. And then how males act. So, it's, like, saying, okay, I'm a girl and I'm in love with this guy. So, 
Um, but if I were a boy, I would act like this. Like, uh, oh, I'd I would turn off my phone. Oh, and just ignore everything. Yeah, I'd kick it with. I think woman. women do that too. I know. So that's like, but that right there is a double standard between women and men in in music. Yeah, women are women because women are portrayed in a certain way. And men are like the ones that are always the leaving kind, right? They're yeah. just like the... Yeah, fuck it, we're gone. <laughs> Bye, you know? Yeah. Um, I, I had a boyfriend that used to turn off his phone all the time. Oh, did you? Yeah, so yeah. I always had a work phone, so I never could turn <laughs> so you, it off. So you weren't I'd allowed... I'd get in trouble if somebody called me and I didn't answer. <laughs> you know? Something would be burning. Yeah, so um, I relate to that song, and I love Beyonce. But yeah, her new one... It's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, I don't I not like it. I listened to it outside. It was really nice. Um, it's like southerny, it, like blues. It's like well, bluesy. Just, yeah, like we're at the very beginning. I was just like, damn, is this Beyonce? Yeah. Like, know. you know what I, I mean? I know. And so she's kind of gone country. Good I'm for like, her. That's awesome. Is this, a, this is a Beyonce country song. but So it's been Taylor Swift and Beyonce now have kind of done the crossover thing. Because with Taylor Swift music, mm-hmm. a lot of it they'll play on pop radio stations they, as well as country play. radio stations. Uh, this yeah yeah it and I don't know if Taylor country Swift. supports disp- like I don't think country is where Taylor belongs anymore and I don't oh, think she's she, more poppy now yeah like everything she releases is pop yeah. now yeah. yeah so she she has made the actual switch and there's no there's nobody saying I guess that Beyonce is making a switch to country but she's kind of doing a crossover right but now. yeah like it, it is which is awesome yeah, yeah it's awesome it's cool it's awesome because for the listeners. Yeah, you know. Well, and it's the same with uh, Morgan Wallen and last night. Last night we, we let, let the liquor. Talk. Nah, that's a good song. That's crossed over into into uh, pop, pop music. What? Yes, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Do you ever listen to pop? Like, I listen to the radio. Do you ever listen to the radio anymore? I listen to more podcasts. Oh, okay. Than anything. <laughs> so yeah. when you drive, you just put it's a podcast usually podcasts, on. Podcasts, yeah. I'm just like music all the way. I know you are. Yeah. So, uh, if. I'll have the radio on if I don't have my Bluetooth and listening to something on Spotify. But yeah, that last night we let the liquor, t- that has made it to number one, I think. And then uh, on pop, on pop, like Holy crossover. Shit. Well, good for him. I'm sure. Don't, you know, quote me on that. <laughs> Cause I don't know for sure. And I'm not really looking and checking the billboard stats anymore. Those days are right, for back. me are over yeah. <laughs> because that's a vicious game. Yeah. And um and also Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan's the, Fast Car. What? Which song is that? <laughs> the one that we were just talking about last episode with Tracy Chapman. Oh, Luke Bryan did a rendition you of gotta, it? Oh sorry, Luke Combs. Oh, did I say Luke, Bryan? Yeah, you said I'm Luke sorry. Bryan. I was just no. like, what are you talking <laughs> about? No, well, the last Luke Brian song I remember is Shake It Shake For it. Me yeah, Girl. We saw him, remember we saw him at Boots and Hearts. Yeah. He did that, no, was it that one? Was it him or I thought it was no. um Sam Hunt. No, I thought it was Anyways, Brian. doesn't matter. There Good was show. a huge oh, really? sea of people. Yeah. And we got to have So fun. Yeah, so oh so that that got played on pop. Wow. Oh yeah, it's gone to number one too, I think. Oh, good probably. for him. That's awesome. So it's and cool that's to see why that. It's she, cool to see that. That's why they played it on the Grammys. Well, I mean, they would have played country music anyway on the Grammys. Mm, Good. The Grammys aren't really country, right? I thought the Grammys are like are all music, is it not? Yeah, but country music has their own country like awards oh. show. Well, sort of hip hop. Yeah, I don't know. Stuff. Hey. When I when I get my first nomination to go to the Grammys, we'll let you know. I'll That's know right. a little bit more Tune about into that how episode it works. down the road. <laughs> down, down the road. road. <laughs> Speaking of episodes, we got a show coming up on uh, April nineteenth. A, a live, uh, live uh, a podcast. live show. Yeah, April a live 19th. show, April nineteenth, and then you and uh, Bradley D. Scott, which we're still trying to kind of line up a date, as his travel plans got all screwed up. <laughs> well, so. I mean. He's a traveling musician. Yeah, yeah. So we're still trying to nail down a date to uh, to get him on the show prior to uh, April nineteenth. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Be awesome. Are you nervous for the live crowd? Like, well, like yeah. I feel like I'm. I know how to be in front of a lot of people. Yeah, I but, don't. Yeah. Well, it's not that you don't. 
You, I mean, you did a lot of public speaking when you were... I've done a lot of public speaking. I used to host a lot of events down in high yeah. school. You have you know? quite the qu- chemistry up there on stage. Yeah, I can keep a conversation going or try to. Mm-hmm. So you're not nervous? No, I am. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm nervous. It's. Uh, I haven't done anything quite like this before. Yeah. So this is going to be very different. Um, yeah. But it's going to be fun at the same time, right? It's going to be oh, yeah, for a room sure. full There'll of people that uh, want to come in. A room full of people that support. Yeah. That are and actually, good. did I tell you I was talking to Tim on the weekend? Actually, Tim has a podcast, Bearded and Bored. I'm a frequent guest of theirs. Bearded um, and Bored. What's they're up? one of the sponsors of this show, actually. So yeah. you'll see in the email blast. Shout out to Bearded and Bored. Um, so he actually wants to come down. Mm-hmm. So we're able to test the... Um, Going equipment? live on, yeah. on Patreon. Oh, on Patreon. To, yeah, to get ready for that. So we'll we'll send something out to, uh, to everybody on Patreon shortly once we line up some dates. With yeah, that. awesome. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And this way we'll try to get all the kinks out of the way as best as we can. Yeah, for, we uh, should probably go like stream live on Patreon that's, on, like, yeah. a few times. Yeah, and then, that's what we're going to try and do. And then like let all the Patreons know when yeah. we're going to test yeah. it out. And then so they can, that way they can see. Yeah, if they want to come check know, it out. Our bloopers be, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a lot. They can see our mess ups. We're, this is going to be our first podcast show. Like our first live taping. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully so, many more to come after that. Yeah. Um, be. So we, we were discussing last night what we wanted to talk about. Mm-hmm. We wanted to talk about, was it the first trip to the CMAOs? No, no, I no, no, no. I think it was. No, it wasn't. Because, because <laughs> it was, no, no, but it was no. because, yes, it was. In Halifax? Yes. Because. No, the first time I ever went to the CMAOs was in Edmonton, or C- C- CCMAs. And was then the CCMAs the first or CCMOs? One, the C- CMAOs was the so first one for me was in Markham. The CMA, CMAOs are the Country Music of Ontario Awards. Yes. Uh, so that's... Um, so it's country, just Ontario. Yeah, it's just Ontario. So Country Music Awards for anybody from Ontario. Uh, and then the Canadian Country Music Awards are across Canada. Mm-hmm. So Bree's been to both many times. I've been nominated for two... Three Country Music of Ontario Awards. And that was in Nova Scotia? No. That oh, was shit. in Markham. I think it... Yeah, it was in Markham. Yeah, I think it was in Markham. And I was up uh, I was up against uh, Michelle Wright. Yep. And Kira Isabella. Yep. Leah Daniels, I think. Yeah. Some, anyways, some amazing... Leah Daniels has done well for herself, female I think. Okay? Art. Oh, yeah. yeah she did wonderful really well. yeah. in, in the Canadian country. Yeah. And <laughs> she was had a nice voice. Because it's such a hard game but anyway yeah so i i have never been nominated for a canadian country music award well, ccma you just wait but, but whatever <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> um but you know. so no so our your first one was in markham yeah ontario okay and yeah. that's when you were nominated yeah okay so your yeah. first one was when you were nominated country music of the year or oh, sorry country artist of the year female vocalist artist of the year and so, uh songwriter well, with you whiskey i think was nominated for yeah song. i think it was with you whiskey for song of the year mm-hmm. song of the year yeah. you were nominated for writer of the year you said yeah i yeah. think so ah, it's don't so matter <laughs> don't i was just so happy to be recognized that's all really no, it was awesome yeah wants. it was it was wicked did you and have a so, speech uh no, I didn't have anything. Well, what, if, what if you won? prepared? You would been... I would have just won it like I always do. That's right. I got the seat in my just pants. Just be like, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you. <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> like, you're cool. <laughs> you're cool. <laughs> you imagine? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, so, but yeah, there's been <laughs> there's been a lot of different t- trips that I've taken for like. CCMA week or yeah. CMAO week because yeah. they we'll all get into have those two. They all have seminars and like yeah. full weeks of uh, like just networking too, right? Festivals and yeah. live networking. Yeah, like they have a so, big gala dinner. And- Halifax. We drove down with your mom and Daver. Yes. And we stopped in New Brunswick. I, I think, think we stopped in New Brunswick. We slept there for the night and then we went there. And you were like. Cause the, uh, the local radio station here in Ottawa, they yeah. were just like, hey, like, could you grab us some content while you're down there? Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Because I was doing the video vlogs. Yeah. Because remember, Zach told me I should start yeah. doing those. So Smart every time I was going, I would, I would like do lots of content, and that's when, you know, I really got into the content world, Creation. right? Because during those days, you're you have so much going. There's so much going yeah. on. Yeah. And and so I I think I met up with a few country stars, um, and like did like. Oh, it was Jordan McIntosh. We did like a little video together. You guys um, are from the same area, so it's oh, kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> and shout out to J Mac. Yeah, and um, yeah, I was doing the all the content and stuff, and so the radio station here that supports me and you know got me off my feet, my career. They were like, like let's let's do some interviews with like try and catch up with these people or this person so i ended up finding johnny reed yeah on the boardwalk he's like hello <laughs> <laughs> hello no that's that's no, australian i know i don't even know <laughs> he's very scottish yeah scottish what did he say i remember the video it was just <laughs> we're like all, we're out on the pole i can't, i'm terrible at scottish accent yeah that accents. was terrible <laughs> we're in, but anyways go to my youtube it's the first one pinned because i'm like Ah, I'm like so excited because I told him I was with the country station. Yeah. And that's kind of how I got him to come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I remember Dating. I sent it to them and they're like, oh, we should get you a job here. I know. <laughs> they're like, no thanks. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a singer songwriter. Right. <laughs> um, what was the significance of going down there though? Because you were. Oh, I, I Olay. Had a, yeah, it was for the Olay on the spot. Okay, so start from the top with the Olay on the spot contest. So could you so, kind of explain that? Olay. And go that? And it's now called, um, it's not Olay anymore. Uh, I'm forgetting now. I'm forgetting it's, uh, what it's called. It's bought by another label? It, they changed their name. Oh, okay. Um, and anyways, back then it was Olay and there it's a publishing label. Um, they do, they do artist management and they sell, like they help singer songwriters pitch their songs in nashville california i think they have offices in toronto and stuff so i applied to be a part of this competition called on the spot and it's basically um it was held during the ccma week in in the Hal in halifax and it was a live performance um and they picked i think 10 people from across the country to be a part of it it's I a thought, showcase i thought it was five but anyways, I can't matter. remember exa yeah. the exact Same number. Um, but uh, yeah, so the, then it was kind of like a the voice kind of thing. But yeah. if you were the winner, then you would win a record deal on the spot. It was kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Why it was called a that. Pub like a publishing deal or a record deal? record deal slash publishing. Oh wow, they give writing. it the whole works. Yeah. Yeah. So I had the opportunity. So I I don't know. I guess I don't know how many people applied, but. I I applied the first Shit time done. and got through, <laughs> and they yeah and they um, they said that I you know was a contestant and, and if I could make it to the, uh, the showcase then um, I'd have a chance to win the record deal, and it was good publicity for me, good promotion. Like it's just sort of a little another notch on my belt for the industry, and yeah. there were a lot of. You know, there was a lot of industry. There, yeah, I was gonna say industry people. Who, who, like somebody came out and did a couple songs too. The big guy there, you you were in his room. Um, oh, um, George Canyon. Yeah, George Canyon. No, 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 Gord Banford. Gord Banford. Sorry. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he was. It. So yeah. I actually went into his room in the. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that okay. though. We'll talk about that because that's a whole thing. Yeah, too. but he. Yeah, so he was. Yeah, he. Nothing played. bad though. I mean, it was nothing. No, bad, it's know? all <laughs> shenanigans yeah. and stuff. You know. Um. But anyways, he came out and played. Anyway, sorry, I keep cutting you off. Um, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. He came out and did yeah, so I'm saying there's a lot so, of people in the audience and like, yeah, you know, a lot of industry people were were very present in the room. Mm -hmm. And um, I was really excited to be picked, but also at the same time nervous and everything. I think Runaway Angel were, were there too. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. and my good friends. Uh, Runaway Angel, they're uh, Ontario country artists as well. Um, and there was another girl that had an amazing soulful voice. Like she was from out west or something. I can't. Uh, or was it down east? Anyway. The girl with the piano? 
There's a girl with a piano or something. She had like a soulful. She was like a Chris Stapleton. Anyways, I was like, I am not. I am for sure not winning against that girl. <laughs> um, and then I didn't win. <laughs> but neither did she. <laughs> yeah, neither did she. To Remember? be fair, I mean, they, they. I think. I think they brought everybody. They already had a winner in mind. They like, had the winner. Like you guys all performed at ten minutes later. Like we have our winner. We're like okay, guys. Well, <laughs> well, you you just don't know how it is, yeah. um, or like what's going on with the voting and the, the judges. And I mean, that's why judges are judges. Yeah. One of the judges was uh, the can- Canadian rep of Big Machine, I think, yeah. Mabel, and. Um, and then another f- guy from the uh, Olay um, Publishing. Anyways, it's just a, it's one little event that has happened in my life that, you know, was a stepping stone and a learning curve. It's like when everyone says, oh, like, I'll never be successful, it's, it's more important actually to fail because then you'll learn how That's to be more. That's where you learn, of course. And, and you learn a lot about yourself and, like, the smoke and mirrors that happen in this, in the music, in, in any industry, in the politics. I think she, I think she had, um, remember she did vocals, the girl who won, she did background vocals for Selena Gomez. Yeah, in a basement somewhere. So she in never met ba- Selena. Yeah, no. But she, she did vocals for her like in a basement somewhere. So she had some kind of hookup there. But like all, somebody always has a hookup. Like well, that's, it's, it's the industry yeah, that the we're industry. in. But um, Do you remember was, her name at all who won? I don't. I should have Googled she this. She had beautiful curly hair. She was, um, a, she was a very pretty lady. Yeah. Or a young girl. Young girl, And I, I think everyone was like looking to her to be like the next Taylor, like Canadian Taylor Swift kind of thing. I what? Think. No. I didn't see that. I didn't get that vibe. I got like anyway, an Avril Lavigne really? vibe from her. Yeah. Well, she was wearing like a jean jacket. With like jeans. Well, well, it's a country artist. Well, I know, but I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> Avril Lavigne didn't wear jeans, did she? Well, Avril Lavigne was like, she looks skater, you know? Skater so like, boy. A, yeah, like an Avril Lavigne's obviously a skater. Like, I would have, she would have came with a Taylor Swift. If she would have pictured me with a Taylor Swift, I guess it's picture more of a dress. Okay. I don't well, know. I don't know. I'm I just... saw her in a dress when, when we were at the, um, there was another showcase that we did together in Ontario, not in Halifax. You oh, were really? there, though. Oh, okay. And that's another story for another time. But, um, yeah, but it was cool. Remember, I remember when she won, she went up. She's like, oh, my God, I just peed. Yeah, she's like, I peed my pants. <laughs> I just peed my pants. I'm like, like ew. <laughs> I'm like, space. get her a rag. <laughs> Where's the closest bathroom? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And our friends came. Like, Yeah, remember? Yeah. Remember who showed up? We all, and Lisa, and yeah, and Doug, and Heather, they all came. Yeah, and And just... then we had, like, this awesome red lobster dinner and i just no it wasn't red lobster it was a lobster it was dinner. an actual lobster like, right dinner in halifax in, like on the on the boardwalk it i just really remember good. when <laughs> they announced the winner and it wasn't me <laughs> i looked over at doug and he was so mad was he really <laughs> his face was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> hell is this? what is happening here <laughs> i started booing no you <laughs> did <laughs> <laughs> you did <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's terrible. <laughs> but no, I don't regret the way that it all came together, and I think my performance was good. I re- I look back on those videos now, and I'm like, oh wow, yeah. I'm like 20 pounds lighter, and <laughs> my I, voice is higher. I was gonna say your your voice is like constantly getting better and better and better, right? Because I think I think it's, it's like fine wine, but it's you know? like but it's like a a, uh, a muscle you said too right like you keep working it out and the more yeah. you work it out like the better it gets right oh yes it's like muscle training yeah muscle memory um i don't think we went to anything else when we were over there right there was a bunch of events i think we went to um we went to a couple i remember i had to work a little bit in the hotel room yeah and then there was like a live music event with like tay bay and um oh uh, the river town saints i think they were there they were Anyways, there. lots of Canadian Canadian core country artists. That means that means Canadian artists that are signed to labels that that are doing, you know, well on radio and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. It was a um, great show. We went to the actual show too. Sorry, it, it, it was a bunch of great events that were happening, but we went to the actual I show. I loved Halifax. Oh, well, of course it did. It's on the fucking ocean. Okay, so I'd never been to Halifax. And I always wanted to fish in the ocean. 
And I, and I really, I think we even almost bought a fishing rod while we were there. Because we were right on the harbor. Yeah, we were right, right on the harbor. Walking on the boardwalk and yeah. like all the... So all the restaurants there are like live music venues. Like they just down east, they love yeah music. Yeah, and Great Big C oh, plays remember, there yeah, a lot. Yeah, we went uh, to like a couple pubs and stuff, and there was some live music, and it was yeah. Really cool. And remember I played that? in one of them. Yeah, um, I had a show with is it Saroma Entertainment, one of the one of the um, sponsors of the CCMAs has like a show, a singer songwriter show. Okay. And I usually always get into one of them, one or two of yeah. them, wherever they are. They have a bunch of them that go on. So I played a few songs um, at this one pub, and uh, it was the same pub, one of the same pubs that um, uh, the lead singer of Great Big C, Alan Doyle, plays. Oh yeah, often, yeah, yeah. which I thought was pretty. Are they cool. from Halifax, Great Big they're C? They're from well, they're, well, they're from down coasters. east. Yeah. yeah, they're east coasters. They're very big down east. Yeah, um, you know what's one thing we didn't mention when we were talking about nominations? What your faces magazine. 2024 <laughs> okay, country artist of the year nomination yeah this year it's this year i'm nominated again where, where could they find you the link or um, where could they find the link? where could they find you the link <laughs> faces magazine um there's a so this awards show is incredible and there's like 700 people who have been nominated in different categories and it's crazy if you just go check it out faces magazine um and just go to Brie Lawrenson and the link to vote for me for Country Artist of the Year 2024 is right there. And you can vote every single day. You can vote with, if you have multiple email addresses, yeah. you can vote multiple times a day. What's in, what are we today? The 20 <sighs> February 20th. Or 27th, I think, today. Yeah. So it's about two weeks. It's yeah. Not, it's not this a weekend, week or it's two. next weekend. Yeah. Yeah. This Coming weekend, up. Mama's going away on a girl yeah. vacation. Where are you guys going? To Quebec somewhere? I mean, I ain't telling you. Oh, dang nobody, man. nobody's gonna know. You could be going to the Bahamas for all you know. You're due back by Sunday night. You know yep. that, right? Okay. <laughs> You're due back. <laughs> you, my boss. That's right. You're due back. Make it Sunday work. Night. <laughs> Good you luck. Get a weekend pass. <laughs> um. No, but yeah. Sorry, I was just. I just wanted to mention Faces Magazine because we actually have the award right here. Look at my award. Hopefully, oh, hold it up to the video. screen. So if you, uh, if if those Sorry. of you who are listening who aren't Patreon members, if you join us, you can see the video. So this is my country music award. Um, so we're getting two. The second <laughs> one's coming. Yeah. Um, I'm, I love it so much. But, uh, yeah, sorry, just to circle back to Halifax. Uh, it was a great time. It was my first time down east, too. Yeah. It was awesome. Potatoes were good. Mm -hmm. um, the fish was amazing. The lobster Fresh dinner everywhere. that the we had. The lobster dinner was great. Was that where you had Doug and yeah Doug, Doug and Heather? Doug and Heather, yeah, Heather and they yeah, yeah. took us out for lobster. Yeah, dinner. Yeah, went to lobster just... dinner with them. It was it was a blast, man. So fun. It was a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. And um, a few yeah, years ago, to, you know, I'd love to go back down east. I would. I would too. I'd love to. I want to go to Peggy's Cove. Oh yeah, where the. The dolphins are. Yeah, <laughs> I'm all about um, the dolphins. Did you know that every time I go to an ocean on a boat in an ocean, I see a dolphin? Really, eh? Mm -hmm. like, How's your hypnosis? Speaking of dolphins. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is a dolphin a hypnosis? No, no. I, was just, I just wanted to. I wasn't sure how to Speaking use a transition. I wasn't sure how to like transition into it. <laughs> oh, so I, I was just like, uh, sometimes I don't even know if he's actually ever listening when I talk. I am. I always listen. You talk about dolphins. Every time you go on a boat, you see a dolphin. Remember when we went to yeah, the I, Dominican I this year? And yeah. you're like, you were like the first one to see it because you, cause you knew I wanted to see one. Yeah. I and you're like, you. oh my God, babe, there's yeah. a dolphin. And then everyone on the boat flocked to that side. The boat started tipping. Yeah. <laughs> and then the dolphins saved us all. And then we saw them in Cuba, too. We saw. I don't know if we saw them when, on the cruise to the Bahamas. I don't know if we saw them. I, I think don't remember. so. Well, I, I think, think so. We, well, we've been swimming with them. Yeah. We love them. I love I'm them. Right. He yeah. was scared of them. <laughs> well, like, You're like, is when, it going to bite me? Well, <laughs> this dolphin is coming at you, and it's like, it, it's like lips was, like, was all like, 
ripped up and shit. And I'm just oh, like, oh no, I'm they like, weren't ripped up. It's just because they had marks because they swim in the ocean all day. Yeah. So their skin is like ripped. Well, a I, little. it was just very like rough skin. <laughs> I hope it was. I wanted to put some lotion it's on like there for It's like smooth him. skin. I don't know. Okay, he was the just, whole thing. He was, was just freaked right out, the whole, which is a the whole testament thing was a to how much. much he loves me. <laughs> was that before we were married? No, it was for our honeymoon in Mexico. Oh yeah. Um, did you have? Oh no, the I, hypnosis. My, yeah, how's the hypnosis? So, the, I do one every day. Um, if I have a nap, if I have a nap during the day, which usually when I have Zane, I do. Um, then I listen to it and I fall asleep and there's all kinds of different ones. And, Which one are um, you on right now? So I've listened to the weight loss one. I feel like I'm, you know, losing a little weight. Yeah, That's good. good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Um, yeah. So there's that one and the quantum, quantum leap manifesting one. So you like quantum leap right into your manifestations. And then there's one okay. for self worth. You're doing the self-worth uh, one to one? relieve the anxiety. Yes, you're, you're doing all of this. Yeah, are you supposed to be hypnotized all the time? Oh my! See that now. This is this is a good question. See, well, it's, this it's, is it's a, a great question because this is he. If you listen, if you watch him on live on TikTok, yeah, he answers all these questions. Did, has somebody asked them? Yes. Is it good? People think that it's not good to be hypnotized. That, that some that that some people think that it's um, evil. Or that it's, oh, like it's evil. you know, well, some religion, oh, you know, okay. think that it's yeah. evil. But actually, you are in a state of hypnosis multiple times a day, naturally. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So he always says that. He says, um, and I prove it when I ask you what time, <clears throat> excuse me, right. what, what time of, of night did you fall asleep last night? Um. <clears throat> was it the exact, what, what was the exact time? Uh, probably eleven oh seven. Really? Yeah, I looked at my, I looked at <laughs> my phone, and then you just fell asleep. Well, I mean, I'd lied down, and I was out probably within five minutes. So that was the last time you looked at your yeah. the time it was. But yeah. so eleven thirteen. You can't actually say what time you fell asleep because right before you go to sleep, you're in a state of hypnosis, and it's the same as like when you drive to work in the morning. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm having a little dry moment. Do a lot of editing. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you drive to work in the morning, and then you're like, "Oh my god, I don't even remember driving here." It's because you're in a state a state of hypnosis. That's dangerous. Well, what driving? You know, <laughs> driving is like second nature to most. Yeah, of us. well, that's true. I guess you know that's true. <coughs> Do you want to take a drink? Yes, yeah. thank you. We'll wait. Okay, so, so yeah, you don't have to be afraid of it. But this this may be a stupid question, but doesn't that mean you're not kind of living like in reality? Yeah, you're living in reality. Okay, but you're yeah. like in an is it is it a hypnosis like an altar of the mind? It's yeah, it is. It's the state of mind. It's an extreme relaxed state of mind. So it's right. In your brain, he actually says all the the words of the brain, and like you should oh, really, really. It's very scientific, and that's yeah. why. Because he was like, he said he he lost. He started doing weight loss hypnosis, and then he lost. Um, this is Anthony Serino. He's the hypnosis of TikTok. Um, he lost like eighty pounds in six oh, that's months. Awesome. Good for him. After he did a weight loss one, and that's awesome. Yeah, and, and then he and how long he of a has time actually frame? hypnotized himself to make like over six figure like just from hypnotizing people. <clears throat> yeah, he actually has these clients. He's not allowed to say who they are, but oh, there wow. some of them are celebrities, and they and they hypnotize the themselves every day, every day. Um, so yeah, I do it every day. How, how much? How how like how long did it take him to lose that weight? Do you know? Six months. Oh, good for him. That's awesome. That's a big feat. Yeah, and um, good. so you're doing multiples a day. Yeah, you're just in a constant state of hypnosis. <laughs> no, he brings you out every time. Count, count, count up from five. So you to go live with him every night. 
he goes live. Yes, yeah, and I'm watching sorry. it. He, the he live. goes live, and you watch the lives to get hypnotized. Yeah, yeah, I can. But I also bought his course, so I I have oh, his yeah. all That's of his all hypnotos- the ones you were just explaining. Hypnosis is yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. And I, I'm gonna get it one day. I'm gonna. I think. Well, I think it would be good for you to just start doing with me. You could either start you with me. You want me to do the weight loss one, don't you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we're too old to I'm worry about kidding. weight. <laughs> now we're just happy and fat. Yeah, well, come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who cares? Um, I think that that one of them that you would benefit you is the inner child healing one. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and because, like, you seriously have no idea how much it just—it's like all of a sudden your brain just starts thinking differently. Yeah. It's and that's because it's not manifesting. It's faster when you're hypnotized. Your manifesting is good because you know every day it's a routine thing. You say affirmations to yourself, blah blah. You write them out and you you know make a vision board and everything. But he even says this in his in his lives. He's like, but seriously, that stuff it doesn't do anything unless you're doing it every single day. You know, hypnosis is like a fast track. Yeah, because you're in. A, extreme relaxed state where really only your subconscious mind is listening and well you know that it's listening and you really don't need willpower or anything it's, it's just crazy you just gotta just not think overthink it. I, well that's the problem it's the same as meditation even yeah i don't meditate well maybe you should <laughs> <laughs> you know um whose turn is it to ask a question yours. my turn yeah Okay, so every week we do this. Well, we started just a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> um, we ask each other questions on what we think our dream job. Or no, I sorry, I was just about to say the question. Oh well, no, um, we we how well do you? Yeah, know how me? well do you know? But you should make an intro. You did the intro the other time. Did I? How well? How well do, do, do you know, know me? me? You're like do do do. <laughs> I'll think about it. Um, okay, so my question to you: mm-hmm. What is my like dream? job ever you want to be um a full-time power lifter well that's true i would okay and that'd be like the best job ever because i just eat all day and just work out <laughs> but but no like what do i want to own a pizza pizza a pizza a pizza, pizza guy. <laughs> a franchise owner my, my dream like job or or entrepreneurial or entrepreneur if you were an entrepreneur if i was an entrepreneur uh newer i would <laughs> entrepreneur. It's my accent. It's my accent. um i'd love to own a pizza pizza, mm-hmm. pizza how many pizza. pizza pizzas have you worked at i've worked at three or four different pizza pizzas and i've loved my job every time from delivering pizzas <laughs> to making pizzas. Remember Man. when you got laid off right before our wedding? Yeah. What and... I, the day I got laid <laughs> off, I drove right to Pizza Pizza and I had a full beard. And I'm like, I need a job. I don't even have a resume. I'm like, I need a job, man. I'm like, I got Pizza Pizza experience. He's just like, you know, you have to shave the beard. I was like, whatever. <laughs> okay. I, he's like, come back tomorrow morning. I was like, all right. Yeah. I, went, and I shaved the beard. I went he came home day. a few times. I remember this one time he came home and there was he had a he was wearing a hat pizza pizza hat and had like sauce like like a splat of sauce and yep. i was like uh babe you got sauce on your hat <laughs> i was laughing and he's like babe sometimes you know things just get oh, man, it gets nuts in that kitchen i love <laughs> it, it. the gets... stress of it oh man it is it is my dream you love you like, would be good working on the line chef like as a chef on the line. I, I i mean i worked in many kitchens i i loved it yeah i loved it because of the stress um, Oh yeah, it's a lot. Ugh, of fun. I Man. hated the restaurant. No, because I, I I worked in, well, I worked at Eastside Mario's too mm-hmm. for a little bit, but I was more a dish boy. With just your brother, there. Yeah. yeah, I was working there one or two days a week, doing dishes. Um, but at night, like at like ten, eleven o'clock, when it started to slow down, my brother would like bring me out, and I'd be like making food and stuff for people. That's cool. Yeah. So you know how to make those bread buns? No. Like. No. Why have you been hiding this from me? Uh, yes. Unlimited for... bread. Uh, okay. We <laughs> should go to Eastside Mars. I've been forever. I know. Me neither. I love Eastside Mars. Yeah. Love the tra- chicken tzatziki. Tzatziki or something? I, I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't been in for. I've been, honestly, I don't even remember what they have with a menu. Shim. 
I couldn't even tell you. Well, it probably you changed a lot. Yeah, I'm sure. It's changed I know. Um, your brother knows. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for us. Okay, yeah. we're, we're done. We're off. Ciao. We're off. Uh, guys, make sure to check out Bree's socials. What are your socials? Uh, BreeLawrenson.com and on TikTok. Uh, got 276 followers. Here's a shit thousand though. followers. A uh, Bree, at Bree Lawrenson Music. And uh, guys, make sure to check out our show April 19th. Uh, tickets are still on sale on Eventbrite. Um, live taping of the distillery podcast. It's going to be a live podcast. taping of the distillery podcast. And it's going to be uh, Bradley D. Scott. Uh, we'll have him on the show soon, and Bree will also be be, pe- be playing, and we're going to have a meet and greet after. So we're going to have some 5x10s yeah. or 9x11s, I don't know. I don't know um, all kinds of stuff, because I just yeah. got a cricket. And yeah, you just got a cricket, too. I how to too, use so. it, and I'm using it all the time, and yeah. I love it. So it's all handmade. Yeah, we're making merch. all of our merch, too, to, to be able to sell there. So uh, make sure to check it out on Eventbrite, and I'm Attic T. And I'm Bree. Bree Lawrence. We'll catch you next time. Ciao. Bye. We gave away a Yeti cooler in October, $1,000 in December, and because of the Patreon family, Bree Lawrence's Patreon family, we were able to donate $500 to the Children's Hospital here in Ottawa. Thank you to my Patreon family. Join the fun. Check it out. Bree Lawrence on Patreon. We do giveaways all the time, and with 68 new members, we would love to keep growing. Check us out, Brie Lawrenson on Patreon.